Okay, so what do we have here? We have an old battery. Okay, I've had this battery for about three years and uh, it was working always good. I left it on my uh, yard out in the middle of the boonies or whatever and it was on the quad and it was, let's just say it was dead in the throats. And if you don't know, and I guess if you're watching this video, you probably do know, if you freeze a battery, um, good luck. Good luck trying to save it. You might as well just buy a new battery. But I think, I'm not sure yet. I'm about to put it on my quad. If you're watching this video, then the outcome might be a little bit surprising. But I think I might have saved this battery, because look at this, okay? I had this battery sitting, and I remember when it was frozen, I could not get it to stay above 6 volts. It would charge to 6 volts, and it would stay at 6 volts. So, right now, uh, this battery was dead frozen. It was just solid brick a couple of days ago. So now I'm going to stick my voltmeter on it, if I can get my voltmeter to stay. Apparently, I don't know how to use tools and work the camera at the same time. As you may or may not know, I'm not good at it. But look at that, 12.4 volts. And it's staying solid at 12.4 volts. And that's good for a battery, just above 12 volts. It's a good sign. I don't know how much amperage it's going to put out. But what I did is I had pulled this battery inside. And then I hooked it up to a battery charger. I suppose you could do it with a triple charger too. What I've done is I put it on a low, the lowest charge cycle I had on this charger, which happened to be a 10 amp charge cycle. I charged it for an hour turned it off for about half hour and charge it for an hour. So while I'm doing stuff in the shop every hour or so, just checking, make sure everything is still good on this battery more or less. Looks like there's just a piece of raw rock underneath it or something. That's uh, wobbling. Um, put it on a charge cycle for an hour, half hour off the charge cycle, hour charge, half hour off, more or less for the last, I think it's been, this is the third day now. And yesterday, the two days before I was sitting at about 9, 10 volts. Yesterday morning it was like 11 and a half volts. And then today, this afternoon, it was 12 and a half volts. And I took this battery at 11 and a half volts, tried to crank my quad over. And you know what? It cranked over pretty slow, but it did have some cranking on it. So I'm thinking now it's got up to 12 and a half with 12.4 volts. And uh, it might have enough uh, power to crank it over. So I'm going to go over to the quad. I'm going to hook up this battery and see if we can uh, turn it over. So here we have it. Here is my uh, piece of rubbish quad with my really old battery. I just installed it. And I want to let you know that it, I don't know if you can see that, but out there it's snow. It is probably about plus one degree. So about a degree in positive temperature, especially here in the shade. In the sun, it's quite a bit warmer. In the sun, it probably feels like it's more 10 or 12 degrees. This is just bright and sunny outside and it's just beating down. But the out here is probably about in the shade a degree or two, and that's Celsius, okay? That's a degree or two Celsius. So for you uh, Americans, that's about 35, 35, 36 or so here. So we're gonna give this a shot. So we're gonna turn our switch on. Hey, we got a light, that's good. Uh, that light always comes on when I do it. So now we're gonna turn the run on and let's see what happens. Let's see what it sounds like. Look at that. Okay, let's give it a bit of gas. Okay, that is a good sign. I like that. That's usually what it sounds like when it cranks out. So we're gonna give it a bit of quick start because we're red next and we don't really feel like waiting. So let's do it. Let's. Let's give that a shot. Let's see if we can get her to start. There we go. That's how you save a battery. So look at that. And it's still got it's still got enough power to crank over still. So hold on, let's see if we can get this thing started. A little bit more quick start, and then that should fire her right up. Yeah, this thing doesn't do so good with the cold starts. There we have it. We started up our old quad. 
with a frozen battery. And this battery's been frozen for quite some time. And I thought it was pooched. I was about ready to give up on this thing, but apparently I was wrong. This thing will still, still work this quad. I probably won't put it on my motorcycle, but definitely stays on this quad. No need for the Kickstarter anymore. Ha ha! Franken quad. The ugliest, dirtiest, crappiest, most expensive piece of rubbish quad ever. And she lives a little bit longer. Doesn't have a choke, so all of everything I'm adjusting is with throttle advance. So I just obviously put the new battery in and cranked it over for a little bit. So I'm going to let it run at a high idle for a little bit to charge the battery and obviously warm this thing up. It's probably like, ah, I might take it for a spin, but maybe not. I'll let the battery charge a bit. I'll probably take the battery back inside just in case. Let's go get the voltmeter see what the battery's running. I know it's charging because it was charging before 13 and a half volts. So yeah, you can save a frozen battery. There you go, there you have it. So here we have her back in the shop. Yeah, we ran it for a little bit, so we're now at 11.97 volts. Hey, you know what? I'm okay. If this thing can crank over my quad and start up my quad, it's all this battery needs to do. I probably won't be nearly as good as a brand new battery, but hey, I don't need it to be. This is good enough for me.